welcome back to my channel. I'm Mrs. Gonzalez and I am so happy that you are tuning in again for another week of story time. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Each week I share a different bilingual story for children. And if you're enjoying the content and you love all the stories, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Feliz New Year, Eva Gabriela, by Alexandra Alessandri, illustrated by Ari Rivera Sonada. The day before New Year's Eve, Eva Gabriela stood with Mamá and Papá in Abuelita's finca. Eva's tías and tíos, primas and primos didn't feel like familia yet. They felt like strangers. Say hola, Mamá told Eva. Eva's heart thumped like Papá's tambor. She opened her mouth. Nothing. Speak up, Eva Gabriela, papá said. Abuelita added, Mija, te comieron la lengua los ratones. Tío Mario's laugh thundered. Eva hid behind mamá. No, mice had not nibbled her tongue. But how was she supposed to speak with so many eyes staring at her? Eva wished she didn't feel as small as a mouse. It's okay, Tia Nena said. Want to help us make buñuelos? Eva hesitated. But the fried cheesy fritters were her favorite. Mama always made them for the holidays. When Tia Nena held out her hand... Eva took it. Her primos Sarita and Javier joined them in the kitchen. Together they cracked eggs, measured flour, and tossed in cheese. When the others weren't looking, she swiped some. Eva loved cheese. Mmm, she murmured. Maybe her voice hadn't completely disappeared. They mixed, squeezed, and kneaded the dough. Then, Tia Nena dusted the counter with flour, and they rolled the masa into round bolitas. Her cousins chattered and laughed. Eva didn't. But when Eva wasn't looking, Tia Nena sprinkled her with flour. Eva giggled. She wanted to yell, food fight, but the words stuck on her tongue. Why couldn't they just come out? Done, Tia Nena said, go on, have fun. Sarita and Javier dashed out of the kitchen. Ava trailed behind. She wanted to call out, wait. But her voice hid like a mouse in its hole. Instead, she wandered through the finca alone. She found Mama with Abuelita, sipping cafecitos and eating bocadillos. Would you like one? Abuelita asked. Eva nodded. She nibbled the small guava square until it was all gone. Why am I so shy, she whispered. Oh, amor, mamá said. There's nothing wrong with being shy. When you're ready, your voice will come out and play. Ava kept exploring until she found her primo Pedro sitting cross-legged on the terrace floor, blowing up balloons. She wanted to ask, what are you doing? 
Instead, she sat quietly beside him and watched. Did you come to help with El Año Viejo? Pedro asked. She'd never heard of the old year. It's a balloon doll. We build to say goodbye to the old year. At midnight, we pop him. Ava's mouth rounded into a perfect O. She wanted to say, yes, I'll help. Nothing. Her too shy voice was going to make her miss out on all the fun. Why don't you build the Año Viejo, Pedro said. I'll blow up more balloons. Pedro puffed and Ava stuffed. Together they built the old year doll until all that was left was to draw his face. Pedro handed her a marker. Ava's heart thumped like a tambor. She should say thank you. She could say thank you. Gracias. The word was whispery, soft, but tasted sweet like dulce de leche. She drew a mouth on the doll and giggled. It looked ready to talk like a loro mojado. Maybe soon she would be the one talking like a wet parrot. The next morning, Ava awoke determined. Everyone bustled to get their finca ready for the new year. Music filled the air. In the kitchen, Mama and Abuelita filled cups with grapes. Twelve grapes for twelve months of good luck. That gave Ava an idea. She plucked one and said a silent wish. Please let me not be shy today. Everyone would eat the grapes at midnight, but she needed luck now. Feeling brave, Ava dashed out of the kitchen. Buenos dias, Ava Gabriela, Tia Nena called. Good morning, Ava, called back. Slow down, Pedro laughed. Ava did. Grinning, okay, her voice grew wings and hummed like a colibri. Except just then, Tio Mario and Papa passed by carrying furniture. What are you up to, little mouse? Tio Mario boomed. Ava squeaked. She didn't hide, but her words stayed stuck in her throat. What if her shyness never went away? Ava Gabriela, Mama called. Time to change. In her room, Ava found the clothes Mama had laid out, including yellow underwear for good luck. Ava needed all the luck they could give her. Outside, the lanterns on the terrace winked. Glasses clinked. Cousin shouted. Her family chattered around a table bursting with food. Tamales, pernil, buñuelos, natilla. Ava sat beside the año viejo. Don't you want to play? It seemed to ask. She really did. Suddenly, Fireworks swished and squealed and boomed above her. Ava dashed out onto the cool grass. She bounced on her toes and reached her hands toward the sky. One by one, her cousins joined her. Do you want to play tag? Pedro asked. Ava could say yes. She would say yes with her heart galloping. Ava blurted, see. Sí. Her cousins cheered. Sarita took her hand and together they raced across the field. Ava felt like a mouse who just discovered a cupboard full of cheese. Feliz. 
That night, as her tios played tambores and guitarras, Ava danced with Tia Nena. She sang at the top of her lungs and her family sang with her. She even whispered, Gracias, when Tio Mario gifted her a buñuelo. And when the clock struck midnight, Ava popped the Año Viejo with her cousins, calling out, Feliz Año Nuevo. The end. Or we can say a Spanish chant that sounds something like this. Y colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please comment below to let me know who was your favorite character and what was your favorite part of the story. And if you haven't already, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to visit our website to register for a free class. Link in the description below. Until next time, adios!